We've got a mission today. We've got to take down Giovanni. Oh, Shadow Groudon. Work our way around the garden. Oh, try not to trip over there. Keep the coffee intact. Ooh. You've got to take down Giovanni. Ha <laughs> ha. Giovanni, my ultimate foe. We meet again. Yes, we have got Shadow Groudon. We've just had Primal Groud on Ray Day last weekend when I last saw you on the main channel here. But, oh, we're going to take down Giovanni today. Hopefully, it will go really, really well. I see you up there. There you are, Giovanni. I think that's definitely Giovanni. But before we do this encounter, the haircut. Shiny Drought has been well and truly broken. Because, here we go. <laughs> We got shiny licky tongue. But now back to what we're here to do, that is to take down Giovanni. Here we go. The three little dots is nice when Giovanni comes to blue. It's like, I'm coming to you and I'm gonna battle you on your own turf. Well, we already located him earlier uh, just because I thought I was gonna do this earlier and it didn't happen. So we're gonna use the super rocket radar. And now, what are we gonna do for counters? Well, first of all, we're just gonna get everything revived. I love revive all, by the way. Tell me, is that not the best thing in the game at the moment? Other than feeling very, very quickly to your buddy. That is really good, and the background as well. Okay, there's quite a few good things in the game right now. So, it depends what it leads with. Always gonna be Persian, Shadow Persian. You'll know this if you've already done this, but I think for you seeing me do this, it could be quite fun. Now, it will end with Shadow Brown on, that much we know but it's the middle one that could change. And we've got three options. And I think to cover our spread on these, fighting and water or ice types, really preferable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my second match jump, my jump, and I'm gonna put my Mamo Swine in. We're gonna end with that one. We're gonna take out my uh, Mewtwo and uh, we're gonna put another Machamp in there. And we are gonna go with the one that I'd aptly named Geo One. Okay, right, let's do that as a starting point and see what we get on here. The reason we use the fighting type on Persian, depends on Persian's fast move, but it should farm down its shields quite quickly. And, and for those who've watched my vlogs before when we've done these, it, it's quite handy, but I think we're in danger here. Yeah, we are in danger. I don't know why I swapped that out. It was more mainly just to stall the energy that was being taken away, but close combat does deliver a bit more of a, well, it, it, it takes more damage uh, on the Persian. Our Persian takes more damage for that, I should say. So that's the first shield done. Now, hopefully, we can get this down without using another, brilliant, there we go. So that one is done. So what is the middle one? Come on, Giovanni, tell me what you're gonna bring to me, to the party. Guard shot, okay, well, let's get the, oh! <laughs> Ooh. Well, that was disappointing. Right, uh, let's just get these match on, because we need to use the ice type for the final encounter with Groudon. We know that. So let's get the second shield down. This isn't going to work, I don't think. If it does, this will be luck. We need to get that second charge move done, and it didn't happen. Garchomp is... Okay, this might work, actually. If we block Garchomp's charge move, it should get a... let us get another charge move in ourselves. You can tell I don't GBL. My language is not quite good there. Please do not unsubscribe because of my poor grammar in battling. Right, here we go. So let's quickly do you, quickly do you, quickly do you. It depends how much damage we get on this. I don't know what fighting does. Mm, doesn't really do a lot, actually. Right, so let's save you. We, we really are clutching at straws here, but this is super effective. So hopefully, if we can get this in now, we've got a good chance. And probably I should have farmed that down and not used my charge move. But we'll see what happens there because that will get rid of guard chomp. Now, this is the key, is what can we do to growl on? because we need to get at least two of these avalanches in to have a chance to take down, and we might be okay. Depends how much damage avalanche does. I think it will do just over half, or just under half, I should say. Yeah, there we go. Well, it would have been half, wouldn't it? Because we've done a little bit of damage at the beginning. Now, can we get the second one in? We should, we're fine, we're fine. We've done it, hey, <laughs> look at that. There we go, so a couple of match jumps and a Mammo Swine did it there. You need to have the fighting moves and obviously you need the grass, ice or water type moves that Groudon is weak to. And Giovanni says, I shall step aside this time. That's how he speaks, I don't know. Uh, but we won and that's the most important thing. 5,000 Stardust, eight max potions and four maximum revives. We've defeated the Team Go Rocket boss. So what are we gonna get? And then we're gonna talk about this event in a minute. 
What are we gonna get? We just want a good one. Just need a good one. All right, let's bring this in. Sip of coffee. Sip the good stuff, because this we need something good. I don't know what the CPs are. There it is. Oh, I think that's awful. I think eight said I think eight seven seven is awful. And I'll tell you for why. I think I saw 900 CP on someone's uh, channel. And I think that was a three star. So I think this could be awful. I think we might have had bad luck here. But we'll check it with you all. And we get the extra candies in there, which is worth doing because you're going to catch it there. Eight, seven, seven. I think this is going to be horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. It's a one star. That is, uh, what, is that a seven, six? Might be an eight, six, ten. Eight, six, ten. I think we've been done dirty there, but we, we did do very well on the Groudon. So there we go. That is Shadow Groudon. We have a brand new event coming to Pokemon Go, I hear you say. What is it? Well, I'm going to talk to you very top line on this. But the sizable surprises event is going to be coming to Pokemon Go this week, starting on Thursday, April the 4th at 10 a.m. local time to Tuesday, April the 9th at 8 p.m. local time. Yeah, this is the Whelmer event and it features all Pokemon. Listen, there's quite a lot to this. I'm not going to be cynical because that is not the bit we need to be focusing on. So the event bonuses for this sizable surprises event, I've gone Giovanni-esque there again, is you're going to get two times XP for successfully catching Pokemon with nice throws or better. Ditch those auto catchers. You're going to get more XP if you throw it with great curveball throws and excellent curveball throws. Increased chance of encountering XXS and XXL Pokemon in the wild. For me, brilliant because I'm nearly at the XXS Platinum Badge. We need about 60 more, so this event's going to give me the best opportunity to do that. And hopefully you all can make some inroads into those badges. And you'll get the increased chance to encounter the headline event, Shiny Whalmer. Don't worry about that. There's a little bit about not stacking the Catch XP bonus for Pokemon Day Classic, which is Bagon. Don't worry about that. So the wild encounters, will, these will appear more frequently in the wild. And for the first time ever in Pokemon Go, Shiny Wimpod will be making its debut, which is absolutely really exciting. It's a really decent Shiny. It's not the only Shiny, though, that's coming around this time. We're going to get Diglett, Mantine, Whale Majoltic, Cutie Flight, Wimpod, which can all be Shiny, Tynamo and Sotoddle, but can't. And if you're lucky, it doesn't say, it does say if you're lucky, actually, but you might also encounter Onyx and Snorlax. That's not bad. The Pokemon with the X's at the end of their names. Both of them can be shiny. Now, raids are part of this event. One star raids will see Fungus, Clink, Esper, shiny potentials, and Tadpole bringing up the rear. Three star raids, Alone, Executor, Glarion, Weezing, Garados, and Snorlax, all that can be shiny. And this is where the big bit is, because five star raids see the debuts of two new shiny Ultra Beasts. Depending on which part of the world you are, get those remote raids, remote raids going. Southern Hemisphere, Celesteela, and Northern Hemisphere here, Kartana, which can now both be shiny, and they are great shinies. Both of them are really nice shinies. I'm sure you'll see some graphic wizardry on the screen as I say that. Mega Raids will bring Mega Charizard X. Not Y, unfortunately. There will be field research task encounters during the event, and if you complete those, you will get encounters with Onyx, Snorlax, Whalmer, Cutifly, and Wimpod that can be shiny. Wimpod again, brand new shiny, and Tynamo is in there as well. There will be collection challenges, Pokestop showcases, and all the good stuff. There we go. That's a, that's a belts and braces whistle stop tour on that new event. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. What will you be going for? Will you be going for your first Shiny Whalmer or your 20th Shiny Whalmer? Or will you be going for Kartana or Celesteela, depending on where you are on the globe? Will you be hitting those remote, remote raids very hard? I think I might be, because they are both lovely new Shinies. A strong event starting next week. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. And that's all the Pokemon Go stuff we're going to do on today's little vlog. We've got our Shadow Ground on. I feel like we've got, we got probably... We've got our Just Deserves, actually, because Kyogre, personally, I think Kyogre's probably the strongest one of the two, and we did very well with the Kyogre, and we've managed to talk about the latest event. Listen, if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about my personal life, and you've made it to this point of the channel, you'll see some recommendations on the end credits of other channels, of other vlogs I've got on the channel. Please check them out if you want to hang around for a little bit longer. However, I did set up my own home channel. It's M27 Home. All things in and around the house, garden, lifestyle, all that stuff. Nothing to do with Pokemon Go, but something if you just want to get an insight into a little bit more about me, and not just the Pokemon Go content. I need to buy something which is on the latest vlog, which will be on the channel today. Right, whenever you watch this, actually. See you all soon.